So my name is Ryan McDougall, marketing coordinator at Capcom, showing off Lost Planet 2. We've got six players, we're waiting for two more, and then we're going to play a 4v4 team elimination match on Turbulent Jungle. We've got seven. We got one more joining at the end. As you can see, all of the players are customized on the bottom, so everyone's going to look differently. Everyone's going to be able to change the type of weapons they're going to be using. And this will just show those four players matched up in the 4v4. This turbulent jungle map is going to be in the multiplayer demo released in April. This is our uh, epic loading screen. Show off some of the taunts that are in the game, you know, customized action that you'll be able to take. This is a little overview of the map. Nice bright jungle. This is a classic mode. It's four player, four on four uh, team deathmatch. First to 40 kills as a team or 10 minutes, uh, whichever comes first. Take the high ground. You can crouch in these weeds. One of the great things about this game, the, all the foliage reacts individually to your emotions. So that means it's really easy to uh, you know, take realistic camouflage and realistic cover. It's not sort of built as a separate subsystem. Um, it's natural, you're hard to see. Uh, we didn't fake it. When he uh, fell off the ledge there, he automatically grappled. I was hoping he would, there he is, pop back up. Oh. That's the disc grenade. One of the uh, is, what, great things about the disc grenades, it, they go out in a straight line. So you're actually really easily able to shoot them mid-air. And that mid-air shot really lets you pinpoint where you want it to explode, obviously. As well as it does slightly more damage than a, uh, a traditional grenade. So, <sighs> the team deathmatch modes really show off uh, sort of a classic gameplay mode. We obviously have a whole lot of other different modes. We take that team deathmatch as sort of a place to start and then really build off of it from there. So we do things like say a fugitive mode up oh, where you have imbalanced teams. You're gonna have one group of people as, as the hunters and one group of people uh, designated as, as the fugitives. So it's definitely like a VIP mode, something where you're gonna wanna have a lot of communication and, uh, and strategy between teammates. as a uh, sort of change of pace alternative to the classic here. There we go. So I've been busy killing people, I haven't yet been able to show off any of the, uh, the vital suits, those massive uh, robotic power-ups that are really crucial to the Lost Planet experience. We'll see if we can find one of those after I pop open that data post. What the data post is gonna get me is, for one thing, a mini-map, should I not have one in the top right of the uh, screen. If you don't yet have a mini-map and you open up a data post, you're going to automatically be rewarded with one. Uh, additionally, it gets my whole team a new respawn point. It's going to get me more thermal energy, which I can use uh, to power up you know, energy weapons and vital suits. And it's also going to get me more battle gauge if we're playing a, uh, a battle gauge type of mode. Oh, well, fortunately, we're able to show a vital suit. Unfortunately, I'm not in it. Let's see what we can do here. The nature of a Lost Planet 2 deathmatch game it's essentially all about uh, the king of the hill and uh, mentality. I'm not talking specifically necessarily about uh, you know being on top of a, a, a strategic physical position, but you know having any strategic advantage. Um, most commonly, the vital suit. Uh, so you're going to be able to you know find someone who who has a vital suit, and then t immediately everyone else on the map is going to be uh, up from behind is, is going to be hunting them. So at that point, you sort of have a couple of options. You can find yourself a heavy weapon or uh, get behind the, the enemy vital suit and, and strategically work to take it out uh, from on foot. Or you can find the people on the other team who are trying to, to work around the vital suit and who you know, are, are working on foot on the assumption that the vital suit is safe and then pick them off. Uh, a, a lot of times, just by thinking strategically about 
you know, what does a vital suit do to change the battlefield? You can really, you know, use an enemy's vital suit to your advantage in a lot of ways.